This podcast is an audio adaptation of a blog post originally written by Mudla Person. It has been thoughtfully converted to this format to bring the insights and ideas of the original written content to life in an engaging auditory experience. An evening of resounding harmonies. New Jersey Symphony Orchestra's performance. As the sun dipped beneath the horizon on a typical summer evening, I found myself enveloped in the inspiring ambience of the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra's latest concert. Accompanied by my best friend Jim and my wife Esra, our collective anticipation for the musical extravaganza was palpable. We ventured into the concert with an air of anticipation, our hearts beating in rhythm with the underlying hum of excitement that filled the concert hall. The hall itself was a marvel, its architecture designed to enhance the acoustics, ensuring every note would reach our ears in its purest form. As we settled into our seats, the room buzzed with the murmurs of fellow music enthusiasts. Then, the lights dimmed, giving way to a silence thick with expectation. Stephen Mackey, the illustrious director and host for the night, graced the stage. His infectious energy immediately commanded our attention, his welcoming smile reflected under the soft stage lights. He greeted us with a wit-laced introduction that not only lightened the mood but also kindled a keen interest in the musical feast awaiting us. First in the lineup was Tom Morrison's Messages in the Ground. This piece came to life with almost palpable intensity, enveloping the concert hall in a profound, resonating silence. The earthy tones reverberated within the space, invoking imagery of the mysteries buried beneath the soil. It was a brilliant opener that showcased Morrison's ability to intertwine an arresting narrative with intricate musical elements. Next, we were treated to Cory Reader's Walls of Brocade Fields. As the music swelled and receded, the undulating notes mirrored the ebb and flow of intricate brocade patterns. The orchestra breathed life into Reader's vision, their musical precision and passion painting a vibrant image of sprawling fields in the minds of the audience. The composition was a true testament to Reader's ability to transport listeners to different places through his music. Then came the most captivating piece of the night, at least for me, Sam Wu's Hydrosphere. The composition ebbed and flowed like the tide, its haunting melodies echoing the profound depth and mystery of the ocean. The notes swirled around the hall, rising and falling like waves against the shore. It was as if Wu was masterfully pulling us into a realm where sound and water became one. This musical journey deep into the water world was nothing short of enchanting. The experience was moving and profound, leaving me in awe of Wu's exceptional talent for storytelling through music. Yang Fan Su's Baya was next. This composition seemed to embody the gentle tug and pull of emotions, the tender yet vibrant nuances reflecting a profound exploration of life's complexities. The orchestra's performance was breathtakingly beautiful, their rendition painting vivid images that resonated with our shared human experiences. The evening came to a close with Stephen Mackey's own, curved space concerto, specifically the sphere segment. Akin to a grand finale, the piece radiated celestial energy that was both powerful and sublime. With every note, it felt as though we were drifting further into the expansive universe, guided by Mackey's ingenious musical creation. It was an extraordinary conclusion to an equally extraordinary concert. In sum, the concert was an experience of astounding depth and vibrancy. The interplay between the composer's genius and the orchestra's talent crafted an evening of exceptional artistry. I was left with an overwhelming sense of admiration for their dedication to creating a symphony of emotions and narratives. The New Jersey Symphony Orchestra's concert was not just a musical performance but an illustration of the beauty of human expression and connection. It was an evening that resonated long after the final notes had been played, leaving me, Esra, and Jim in a state of awe and gratitude for the transcendent power of music. In reflection, the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra's concert was an incredible exploration of human experience through music. Each composition unfolded like a chapter in a book, telling its unique story while contributing to an overarching narrative. It was an evening that deeply touched our hearts and souls, leaving us with a renewed sense of admiration for the transformative power of music. This lingering resonance of the concert is something I'll cherish, a reminder of the unifying and inspiring power of such shared experiences. Lastly, it would be remiss not to mention a few things about Kay Scaglioni, who was perhaps one of the most important actors of the night. In the realm of music, the conductor serves as the bridge between the composition and the orchestra. They are tasked with bringing the composer's vision to life, breathing life into the sheet music, and leading the orchestra to deliver a seamless performance. Kay Scaglioni, throughout the evening, exemplified the epitome of a conductor's role. 
His presence was magnetic, commanding the stage not with words, but through the power of his gestures and his intense connection with the music. His baton was like an artist's brush, meticulously painting the composer's score across the canvas of silence that hung over the audience. Scaglione led the orchestra with an awe-inspiring blend of precision and passion. He seemed to become one with the music, his arms dancing through the air, guiding the musicians through each score. There was an undeniable unity between him and the orchestra, a synchronization that played out like a beautiful ballet of harmonious sounds. He captured the essence of each composition, channeling its rhythm, pace, and emotion into a sonic masterpiece that resonated through the concert hall. One could see the profound respect the musicians held for Scaglione, mirrored in their disciplined attentiveness and their flawless response to his direction. There was a shared understanding between them, a silent conversation happening in real time, which guided their performance and added an extra layer of depth to the music. In conclusion, Scaglione's exceptional conduct was the driving force behind the concert's success. His understanding of music, his connection with the orchestra, and his ability to translate emotion into sound were truly remarkable. He led the orchestra in a way that not only respected each composer's vision but also brought forth a unique interpretation that left an indelible mark on the audience. Scaglione's passion for music was evident in every move he made, turning the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra's concert into an unforgettable symphony of emotion, story, and sound.